Hi everyone, this is Shamila and I'm back today with another design team project for Celebrate and it is um, done with the Our Story collection. If you haven't picked up yours yet, um, you should try and get your hands on, on this collection. It's really stunning. I know that Dennis and Erin of Celebrate is sold out, but I'm pretty sure that any local craft store that purchases from our local wholesaler should be able to get you a pack. Um, I completed a fairly large album. As a matter of fact, I ran out of um, paper with my design projects and I had to get Dennis to rush some through to me so I could finish this. Um, it is a fairly large album and if I hold it up you can see that there is a three inch spine on either side and quite a significant number of sheets on the inside there. It shuts with a magnet and I've used a couple of the chipboard elements there and just a metal handle for show. It doesn't serve any purpose but it's just there for, for show. Okay, I want to open this up and I hope I can stay in shot because it's quite a big album. Right, now this album has a left and a right side, but the page is sort of intertwined. I just want to pull this over so you can see the cover page. And in here, there's supposed to be um, a takeaway or a pull out, fairly large uh, pocket type of folio. And um, I haven't had time to finish that yet, but I will post it once it's done. Uh, there we go okay so this has got a unique binding method and if I raise it slightly you can see that that is the binding that holds this album together and there we go that's the other side um, we may come across some unfinished pieces so <laughs> bear with me right so it has a little page here that flips open and you can see that there's quite a lot of space for um, for photos and I just want to see if I can find something to my little pocket piece has gone missing okay just to show you that there's a pocket there and a little pocket there and this is a belly band Let me just see if I can find something okay here we go so there's a pocket here there's a pocket there and that's a belly band so you can see the pic comes right through so you've got space for maybe two or three quite large photo mats there and then if I open it up slide it over um, there's a pocket here and in true Sharmila fashion I forgot to add the magnet to that one but it's a nice roomy pocket you can put some photo mats in there and if I pull this over Want to try and stay in shot here. Let me just see. Yes. So there's another. I love this paper. I think it was stunning. And what I have here are some white sheets, and this is just to give you an idea of where the photographs go. Um, and you know, I try to keep things different so that each page doesn't look the same but I also try and use up all my bits and pieces so you can see that I, I do a lot of paper piecing on my pages so I don't waste anything okay and there's another page there and then here we have two small pockets and these are from the elements on the cutout sheet and that's one of the border strips that I've used there then we've got another big sheet here and then this is a a belly band here sorry not a belly band a flap with a waterfall page and um, it's got some different sized pages which is nice and so there's this enough space for about one two three four five six photographs seven if you want to add a small one on top there if you're not going to journal and it click shut with a magnet and then we've got another small page here sorry I haven't stuck these down 100% because I plan to take them off when I put my pictures in so some of them might be lifting 
and then we've got a nice big 13 by 18 picture there and a jumbo size there and then if I pull this open you can see there's another space for four pictures there some more there and then over here we have I use the um, celebrate the acetate sheet here so that's a pocket there and you can actually see through it and then below that is a belly band so you can also add quite a few maybe two or three sheets there and then in here is a pocket a shallow one Sh click shut with a magnet and then we've got another page there another one there this is also from the cutout sheet so there is a tuck spot there some more place for photos and this is one of Kathy's signature cuts so she essentially cuts into the paper and what's nice about this is that you can actually see the full sheet of paper you're not sticking something down over it and you're losing the aesthetic value of the picture of the paper so you can stick your photos in there you can utilize it and you can utilize both sides of your mat so it's not physically stuck down and you can journal on the one side if you want to okay and then we've got another one here and then on, on the back side we've got a really nice roomy pocket there and if you wanted to you can add another pocket here which I intended to but I ran out of time and then on this side these the same so you basically have a tuck spot there and what I did this was one of my off cuts I created a tuck spot there as well so I just stuck that down let me just see if I'm in shot uh, yes I just stuck it down there with with double-sided tape so you can actually use that as well and then over here we've also got tuck spot tuck spot sorry that's my granddaughter making a noise in the background she knows she's supposed to be quiet a tuck spot there with a belly band and a magnet pocket so there we go we can get quite a bit in there and there's my signature favorite sound in the world magnet shot more photographs another signature cut into the paper some more pictures a lovely big page and then like I said it was a double page so what was on the one side is on the other side so we've got our waterfall here once again and just to add interest I would probably put two smaller photographs there just to make it look a little bit different but on this one we also have a pocket in there and I've got four photo mats and these are basically off cuts from my actual album when I constructed the album I keep all the ones separate that I can actually use again so that goes in there clicks closed and then we've got another place for two pictures and then once again we've got our belly band and the pocket I love the acetate sheets um, I would like it to be a little bit wider so we could get and landscape dinners if you're listening um, landscape so that you can create a bigger um, acetate pocket so you can see behind there that will be awesome there we go another sheet there and another one there and then here we have another pocket and these pockets are nice and roomy so you can actually add quite a few um, photo mats in there and I haven't actually counted how many pictures can physically fit in here so I should do that then we've got see forgot to put my pattern paper there um, but that's another pocket there 
and I have to say that I used um, close to two packs of the paper for this so if you are wanting to create one of these albums you're going to need to buy uh, two packs of paper or you can mix it up with a lot more um, plain paper I basically mostly use the pattern paper and I used about two sheets of of plain cardstock um, so if you include more plain cardstock you can get away with one pack but I think the paper is so beautiful I wanted to utilize them all and the idea behind closing the album is to kind of make sure that they they inter interlace with each other And this is one of those albums if you're having other people view it or look at it um, you need to show them how to use it because I find I almost get pains when I see people manhandling something that I have actually put so much time and effort into creating um, so I very often prefer to show them or page through the album um, and show them how to use these albums because you know what we put so much effort into it and we want them to be here for time to come um, and it closes shut with the magnet there we go. and I will say that next time I'll use more powerful magnets because these like two layers of of paper here so my magnets are not let me, oh, sorry I was out of shot there. My magnets are not sticking that well. It works, but not as nicely as I would want it to. Um, and let me just show you. Let's put this to one side. This is um, Kathy's site. It's called Paper Phenomenon. And this is the mini album Max. Uh, you can go onto her site. And if it is going to be the first time that you are purchasing from her or making something from Paper Phenomenon, I would recommend you get the video tutorial to start out. Um, it makes things a whole lot easier. She gives you detailed instructions. Even in your um, photo tutorial, the written one, you get step-by-step -step photographs. So, and she often has sale on her pages, so follow her blog and um, I'm sure you will be suitably impressed with her work because I love the ideas that she comes up with. Um, yeah, and that's it from me. I do hope that you, one last shot of this lovely big album, um, I do hope that you enjoyed paging through my latest project. Um, and if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Um, I'm on Facebook, Shamila Hendricks, or you can find me at Kanya Crafts. I'm happy to answer any of your questions if you have any. And until next time, see you in cyberspace. Bye now.